Welcome back. Welcome back will be the theme tomorrow at ISU. A return to Horton. I'm going to get my ugly mug out of here. Look at this. Horton Fieldhouse back hosting games. Isn't that cool? The, the upper deck, the big crowds, the loud environment. I can't wait. Fans are coming back to Horton Fieldhouse tomorrow. The Redbirds tomorrow will host SIU Edwardsville at Horton Fieldhouse. Uh, Horton was the home of Illinois State Redbirds basketball from 1963 to 1988. I went to so many games there as a kid. The Redbird players practice at Horton this afternoon. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., the roar returns to Horton Fieldhouse. The Redbirds can't wait for the homecoming game. For the first time in 34 years, the uh, Redbirds are going to be suiting up in Horton Fieldhouse, and um, I couldn't be more excited. It's very important as, as a head coach for me um, to take my team over there with a real appreciation for all those that came before us. And one of those that came before the all-time, all-time Illinois State great, Doug Collins was at practice today. 50 years ago, Collins was a first-team All-American starring for the Redbirds at Horton Fieldhouse. He was pointing out all the great places at Horton today. You bet he'll be at tomorrow's return to Horton. But I can't wait till 3 o'clock tomorrow uh, to see this place hopefully rocking again. And so when I walk in here, it's all good. I feel, I feel nothing but uh, good vibes. As the Redbirds return to Horton, we got a little trivia for you, all right? Uh, the last game there, December 2nd, 1988, a thrilling but heartbreaking one-point loss for Illinois State to DePaul. The player who scored the most points in a game, now I'll, I'll accept two answers. I imagine many of you are probably saying Doug Collins. The USA Olympic and NBA hero scored 57 points in a game at Horton in 1973. But Illinois State's official record is 58 points by Bubbles Hawkins one year later in 1974. But the unofficial record at Horton is 71 points by Michael Jordan in a 1985 exhibition game at Horton Fieldhouse. Air Jordan wowed 6,000 fans while playing for a charity game for the WBNQ All-Stars. Tomorrow is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. 